Hi guys, welcome to the next episode of New World Society's Post Placement Talks with Shyanka. Today we have with us a very special guest, Pranati, who also studied at PS University uh, in the Electronics Department and graduated in 2020. She is currently working at HP. So let's get started and try to understand her journey so far. Hi, Pranati. Hi, Shyanka. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. That's nice. Okay, so let's get into business and uh, we'll understand your journey. So when did you join the company and what are your roles and responsibilities, Pranati? Yeah, so basically I joined HP as an intern in my 8th uh, Jan 2020. And... Uh, I interned till uh, September. In October, I started working as a full-time employee. So oh. it's been six months now. Basically, my role is called uh, sales operational list. Uh, we do automation for uh, processes internal and uh, external to HPE. So basically, you know, uh, in any Amazon product, for example, uh, goes through a cycle from the time order is placed till the customer receives the order. So there is a big logistic cycle which goes on in behind in, behind in the company, right? Mm-hmm. So all those processes are manually managed by the employees of the company. So mm-hmm. they process the order and then they send, uh, they track the order where it, where is it, and the manufacturing takes place. And so for example, HP is, uh, it manufactures its own products. Mm-hmm. And, but like, uh, unlike Amazon, Amazon is like commercial company, right? So mm-hmm. we manufacture. So our main products are like servers, and uh, networks, uh, network devices. So basically, uh, the operations people are the people who manage uh, this uh, manual uh, processing of the order life cycle. Okay. So what okay. our team does is that we automate all those processes. So we see how to improve the processes, how to save the time of the employee, how to make a bot do it on, so that uh, the employee can focus on more important tasks at hand other than doing the routine daily job so many years. So like uh, the robotic process automation is new technology that it's called that. There are some softwares for that. Once I joined the team, I uh, went through a learning of that software. So there were trainings and stuff. And then so using that software, uh, we try to automate all the business processes that happen at HP. Okay, that's really, really cool. So how are your fresher days and how long did it take for you to get accustomed to the industry? Yeah, so to be honest, like I, for me, the first uh, jump was when I joined the internship itself. So by the time I, I was a regular employee, I was very uh, familiar with the HPE environment because like I was already there for six, seven months there. Mm-hmm. So I, if, if you want me to tell how my shift was, it, I should go back to my intern days itself. The beginning... I was actually uh, pretty nervous uh, when I entered uh, the company on the first day. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where to go. The campus was very big. So, and then I didn't know many people, uh, even though there were other uh, classmates who entered uh, HP with me, um, we all were in different teams. So obviously uh, once I entered my internship team, it was all very new to me and there were all very senior people over there. And then I was, uh, uh, very nervous for my first assignment was to learn about the products which HP manufactures and then uh, give a presentation about that. So, so, so my first two weeks, uh, I, I for what I did was just go through the HP website and learn all the products. What is the function of each product? And then on my first presentation, I still remember I was very nervous. There, so big meeting, conference room, and then uh, I had to present, and all the senior uh, employee colleagues there were sitting and evaluating how my presentation is and stuff. So, but yeah, I uh, after one month, I was uh, already uh, pulled in into the team. Uh, everybody were very friendly, and uh, they told me not to be nervous. They, they were t- sharing their stories when they joined, and then they were recalling that. Uh, we were we all we were also at your age uh, same situation so don't be so nervous we are not your teachers and stuff like that so yeah <laughs> it was a uh, good journey yeah they were pretty understanding i must say yeah <laughs> so uh, did you face any challenges in your initial days in the company yeah so as i told the challenges was is that for me socializing with uh, all the high experienced employees they were so knowledgeable i where my level was like just fresh out of college i didn't know anything about the company and 
they were all like 15 plus years of experience so they knew in and out of everything so okay. in order to get into their uh, mindset and how what they what do they expect from me as an intern and things like that so i had to figure out uh, how i should schedule my work yeah so that time management process so in hsm we had to do our projects also major project and along with that managing a full time yeah. internship okay. so that was the major uh, challenge mm-hmm. So uh, how exactly was your placement interview and uh, what are the main things you think that the recruiter looks at in our resume? Okay, so my placement interview, um, HPE came uh, pretty early itself uh, in the placement uh, cycle in the seventh sem itself. Mm -hmm. So uh, there were... First, there was a written test as usual. Uh, so in PESU, there, for almost all the companies, there's a written test in the beginning. Yeah. But to my luck, HP's uh, uh, written test was completely multiple choice. That was a very great thing for me. So usually all the companies have uh, this coding round of test in the beginning written test. But uh, HP had a mix of uh, mental abilities and uh, maths and a uh, little bit of electronics and computer science mixed set of uh, uh, questions for an mcq round so that was pretty peaceful so i answered that and then uh, so they shortlisted around 50 candidates for the interview rounds and then in the interview there was around three rounds so two technical and the final one was hr mm-hmm. so for the technical rounds uh, they focused on a little bit of coding mm-hmm. they so the first they asked me what are my favorite subjects and they asked about my projects they asked uh, whatever is there in my resume so i had to explain everything mm-hmm. and then the they asked which is my favorite uh, language I told python then i told c then i did both i got full confused so yeah it happens <laughs> <laughs> so for for each uh, question i choose a different language because in one some language i knew some syntax in the other language i knew another syntax so yeah the ec student is always like that so yeah. and uh, so they had this uh, kind of uh, my application and behind the application whatever i write uh, for the code that uh, sheet of paper they used to pin that sheet and pass it on to the next round okay so the, i was pretty nervous when i saw that bundle of sheets so yeah uh, and other than that uh, also networking so hp also has a networking branch so mm-hmm. that was one of my favorite subjects in my electronics okay. uh, all all the years so computer networks it was my favorite subject uh, so that subject i i was pretty thorough in every concept so i uh, so when they asked me which is my favorite subject naturally i told it's computer networks so then uh, asked me a cycle of a packet how it uh, traverses and all through the uh, internet uh, uh, cycle so so that i had explained whatever i knew oh, so yeah uh, nice. actually recently uh, in our community we had one um, internet discussion so that time mm-hmm. one person in the first year she was telling me entirely about the uh, packet sniffing aspect so it's uh, more into mm-hmm. cyber security so coming from a mechanical background i did, really didn't know anything about all this but she clearly explained about the ip uh, about the content being transferred she explained it really really well i think that comes under the computer networks right yeah that's right okay that's really nice yeah okay. sniffing packets sniffing everything yeah so yeah so that uh, i so to my advantage hp also has a networking part so i knew that beforehand so uh, i had prepared uh, uh, a little bit revised the subject also and then had gone yeah. so because the other uh, core electronic uh, subjects i was not really that confident and uh, hp uh, as a company they don't focus on core electronics as such so that's why i had prepared uh, according to the uh, based on what what the company does so that's very important in any interview so in the second round also they had they asked me some testing questions software testing like they gave me a code and then they asked me uh, how, what all test cases edge cases you have to look into in in this particular code what all uh, how how do you test the if the code is correct if it's running properly uh, so th- that kind of questions so then finally there were like 14 or 15 of us after after the two technical rounds uh, then finally it was an hr round 
and hr round was pretty peaceful so <laughs> me what is my hobbies hobbies and stuff so i sing and then i play guitar and stuff so i told that so they asked me how will you organize a singing competition uh, throughout an hp uh, just tell me your strategy or plan and things like that. so i just told i'll keep an audition and everything and then i'll sort out the application so i yeah i made a public story so yeah so every pesu student can do that story thing so <laughs> <laughs> so yeah sound was pretty uh, chill so then finally we were all waiting for the results and then so the weirdest thing happened to me so uh, after the hr round they told like you're not selected okay so yeah so yeah. then i so then i went home feeling very disheartened and then the next next day they they had sent an email to college telling that we have one more position open so we we would like to take uh, this particular candidate can you ask her is if it is fine they send this to the placement center so then the placement sir somshikar sir he called me back and then he asked me uh, is, are you interested and then i panicked all of a sudden i didn't know what to do but yeah they had uh, only offered me an internship position mm-hmm. they had not offered me a full time employee so that's why i was confused because like once we take up an internship uh, we are not uh, allowed to sit for companies which have an internship Sorry. something like that mm-hmm. yeah so that so uh, i didn't want to miss out on other uh, companies also uh, so because i was not sure if i'll be terminated as an uh, intern or i'll be given a, a full time position in hp i was pretty nervous mm-hmm. then i my brother i asked my parents and then finally they told it's okay just take it up let's see what happens so then i finally agreed so yeah that's how it, i got placed this <laughs> area okay that's really really nice but i'm sure you must be really happy that you finally took that option and you are yeah. really in the company <laughs> so uh, uh, how important do you think the projects research experience and the internships are compared to the cgpa uh, on the resume yeah like uh how everybody you know i think everybody knows this cgpa is just a factor of uh, cut off in the first round that's all nothing else uh, so what matters is that we should we should we should be thorough in the subjects we are interested and we should have done some projects in the field which a field of interest and we should know which for which company what kind of uh, things they expect and what how to prepare for each company that is very important oh. so yeah uh, almost all companies uh, software companies which come for ece and csc they expect a cgpa cut off of at least 8 that's what, that's what i have observed so 8 and then 8.5 is a very good cgpa for all, all, you will be eligible for every company yeah. uh, but 8 is also pretty good so at least if you maintain somehow if you maintain a cgpa of 8 that is more than enough yeah. so instead of focusing on getting 9.5 and 9.8 cgpa we have to focus on how how we can uh, increase the number of uh, projects uh, how number of papers published or or how to do an overall research in 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 your field of study so that you can tell the company which comes to placements that how what and all you have done so that they'll know that you are a qualified candidate you already know many things in the interest in the uh, company's uh, field of interest like the in what they do if you already know some stuff in what they do right. so they'll they'll probably won't even ask you many questions they'll be very happy just listening to your projects so that so like that you can impress them in the first round itself by mm-hmm. letting know letting them know all your projects okay. so yeah that's really nice so um if given an opportunity to do engineering once again what would you do differently and how would you do it to be honest uh, when, for my batch uh, there were more of software companies mm-hmm. than there were core electronic companies which came to placements at least the ratio i can tell it's little more uh, soft for us for the software companies mm-hmm. so even though we electronic students we learn all the electronic stuff there is a particular requirement to, for us to know all uh, at least the basics of computer science for sitting for software companies uh, so uh, so i think i will if i can do it uh, engineering again i'll probably learn uh, much better computer science stuff along with the electronic stuff like mm-hmm. though even though i did my minus i i was too careless about it so mm-hmm. i i was uh, chilled out just uh, sit through the classes 
and somehow pass the exam and then done so that's not that should not be the mindset so the minors the uh, which are college offers is pretty good so for, it's a very important thing i think for people who want to focus on software jobs don't neglect any subject uh sit through, don't just uh, sit through the classes uh, and just uh, finish copy the assignments and sub- submit uh, and then just uh, somehow pass the exam that should not be the case so you have to focus at least on the subjects which interests you uh, yeah so everybody won't like all the subjects that is that is obvious but uh, there will be some subjects which are important and which uh, for the placements also like you can when you are uh, uh, focusing on such some on certain companies you will know which subject is important for which uh, which company and things like that so at least those subjects sit through pro- and listen every every aspect properly so for example like how i told computer networks some companies really take that for example cisco hp all those are networking companies so for them you have to focus on computer networks and if you want uh, to go into a pure software development company then you'll have to know your python in and out so that's how so i'll probably uh, if i go, go back to engineering i'll probably learn all the subjects better <laughs> than uh, i already know. even if in case somebody doesn't get into uh, cs you suggest them to take up the minors and focus uh, on it if they are interested in coding right correct that's right okay sure and then lastly uh, are there any tips that you would want to give to your juniors in order to help them get the dream job yeah uh, so dream job uh, so that's always the it will it might not always come true but still uh, you have to at least try it you can't uh, just sit and uh, relax till thinking that i'll get placed anyway because there are many companies which come to college and all my uh, seniors have got placed so even i'll get placed that should not be the, not be the attitude uh, is what i think so if you really have something called as dream job so then you should really go for it so for me um, it was uh, much more like uh, uh, i had a few companies in mind so i uh, i didn't have like a particular company as such but i was fine with some 10 15 companies with in that range any one of them so i focused only on those and then I revised my uh subjects which were which i thought was important for them so i one tip i really want to give to the juniors is that uh before the placement starts in like seventh sem for all of us so just like uh, after the sixth sem if you're not really doing an internship in your third year those two months those are like golden time for you just sit and prepare properly for everything for the placements uh, so by the st- end of your third year i guess your gpa will almost got decided only like you will have one or two sems so then you can uh, so by the th- if you fin- by the time you finish your third year just try to maintain a gpa of 8 or that or, or something around that range and don't think that much about a gpa and uh, focus more on how you can impress the interviewers in the placement interviews and so it can be doing a project or it can be doing some research or writing some paper or it can be uh, uh, you know preparing well for the subjects so do that two months sit and don't waste that time so yeah if you are done that then as soon as the seventh stem starts you will get placed in some very good companies and then Uh, you won't have that much uh, tension you know that seventh sem whole time if you are uh, if the play when the placements are going on when you see all your friends getting placed and you are still not yet placed that's a very horrible feeling so uh, see to that you avoid that and get placed in the beginning of of the seventh sem itself so then last year you can chill in college <laughs> so okay. i think yeah that's really nice so it's really important for uh, the juniors to focus on the holidays that come before the fourth year so thank you pranati that was really really insightful i hope our juniors uh, mend their ways according to your suggestions so guys uh, we'll have more of such sessions coming up uh, we'll have a lot of interviews from the people who recently joined company so do like share and subscribe to learn more thank you so much all the best guys thank you shanka Thank you.